like tutorial for you and in this video I'm going to teach you how to balance the chemical equations. Um, I'm going to break this uh, video into three sections because first I'm going to define what's a balancing equation and then tell you how to find the number of atoms in a compound and finally I'm going to teach you how to balance chemical equation. Now a balanced chemical equation is when the number of atoms on the left hand side is equal to the number of atoms on the right hand side. The atoms on the left hand side is called reactant and the number of atoms on the right hand side is called product. So when a chemical reaction happens, reactant form into product and in a balanced chemical equation the number of atoms on the left hand side must be equal to the number of atoms on the right hand side okay how to find number of atoms in a compound so for example if I say CO2 so you can see that I have carbon and oxygen now how many carbon do I have there is one there and oxygen I have two let's do another example I'm going to take the same carbon dioxide and I'm going to write 3 CO2 what it means is the whole, we have three molecules of CO2 an easy way to do this is just to calculate for one molecules and then times it by three so if you have one carbon then going to be three if you have two oxygen then it's going to be six let's do one more example okay i have three different atoms over here this is called calcium hydroxide i have calcium i have oxygen and i have hydrogen calcium is one now the bracket there's a two over here in the bracket so this two refers to the oxygen and hydrogen so we have two oxygen and two hydrogen and this is my last example and I want you to do this so calcium before when it was one molecule we had one calcium but this is two moles of calcium hydroxide so what you have to do is just times this by two okay so one so then that means you have two um, calcium oxygen was two so now it's four hydrogen was two now it's four okay so it's very easy okay now I'm going to tell you how to do a balancing equation example number one I'm going to take sodium and chlorine and sodium chloride now we have one sodium over here and we have one sodium over here so it's perfect two chlorine over here but one chlorine over here we have a problem here now how do so there's two over here but there's one over here so we have to make this as two you cannot put a small two over here that would change the compound we are not allowed to do that so we put a big two over here so we have two chlorine and two chlorine that's perfect but now we have two sodium but one sodium over here so what do you do yes put a two over here it's very simple let's do a bit harder one hydrogen and nitrogen which will make ammonia yes this is table process the production of ammonia if you take a look we have two hydrogen and three hydrogen that's not good and over here we have two nitrogen and one nitrogen this seems to be easier to sort of balance it so we start with nitrogen nitrogen is two over here and we got one here so we put two here so that makes two nitrogen and two nitrogen so this is perfect now if I put a two over here without this molecules without this two my hydrogen was one was three sorry was three but with the two is six so I got two over here how do I make this into six by writing three so six hydrogen six hydrogen two nitrogen two nitrogen nicely balanced 
I'm going to make a test on this uh, balancing equation. So please come to my next video and try those questions. And please subscribe. Thank you, guys.